Hello everyone and welcome to the EYFS Parent and Carers Meeting. Well, welcome to EYFS. The class teachers this year are Mrs Clarkson, myself, Mrs Clarkson. And Miss Hickey. And the teaching assistants that we're working with your children are Mrs Ford, Miss Ellis and Mrs Kramer on a Monday to Wednesday. And other staff members that might work with your child include Mrs Akram, who provides EAL support, amongst other things. Mr May or Mrs Abraham, who cover the class teachers during release time. And you may also meet Miss Gent, who is our SENCO. We work closely together as a unit and I know at the moment you won't know which teacher is your child's class teacher and that's because we haven't finalised classes yet but you will definitely know by the end of this month. So we just wanted to quickly say thank you to you and the children. Um, they've settled in so well and they've, um, we've been so impressed with how they've transitioned from home and nursery. They've been brilliant and they seem really happy. Yeah, it's been wonderful, hasn't it, meeting them? They've settled so well and we know it's a bit of a strange time. It's a little bit different this year as parents can't come in like they usually might do. Um, but, we've, you know, they've, they've been brilliant so far. And if your child's not started yet, we're looking forward to meeting them next week. Um, so this is just a list of things that your child needs to bring into school with them. Um, we've said a water bottle, just make sure there's no juice inside, just plain water. They can also bring a healthy snack. This is optional as we do provide them with fruit um, throughout the day. And um, we do ask that no nuts please as part of their snack just because of allergies and things like that in the class. Um, please can you make sure that they also have their reading book and diary. Um, we suggest that they read at least three times a week or more and just please make sure it's in their school bag just in case you want to read with them throughout the day. Um, we ask that no big rucksacks just because um, they don't fit in the trays and the cloak room is quite small so we don't want any big bags in there. If your child has any medical items such as an inhaler or a cream, please can you let us know as soon as possible and just make sure that they are inside school. Um, we've also suggested wellies, um, especially if your child likes playing outside in the water. We do have some in school but if you'd like them to have some, you can just bring them into school and make sure that they are named as well. Um, we put in bold here about making sure that their school uniform has their name inside. That's really important, especially inside the shoes, because sometimes they get a little bit mixed up. Um, as we start to get into winter, you can make sure they've got their coats, hats and gloves. And also in their PE kit, just make sure they've got a spare underwear and socks, just in case you have an accident throughout the day. It's always useful to have um, a spare set. Um, this is just a little bit about PE kits. We will be starting this from autumn too and at the moment it will be on a Friday and it will be outside. Um, that will depend on the weather but we suggest that they have a white t-shirt and you can either have a black shorts, leggings or joggers. It depends on what's best for your child. Also a tracksuit top and jumper. This is also optional because they could also wear the school jumper or cardigan. Um, PE pumps or trainers and if you could just try and make sure it's in a drawstring bag just so that it can be hung up in the cloakroom. Again, if they can all have names in, it's really useful, especially when they start getting changed together. Uh, it can be quite confusing. And the PE kits will be sent home every half term, so you can just check that everything's still inside. Um, also, give it a wash and then make sure that everything still fits. Okay, so here are ways that you already help your child become a good learner. So, spe speaking and listening at home and developing their vocabulary. Miss Hickey and I have been really impressed. We can see that they've been doing lots of um, you know, obviously spent more time with you recently and you've been speaking to them lots and we've been uh, really impressed with the children's conversational skills um, and encouraging curiosity, um, you know, letting them discover more and find out for themselves, praising all efforts that they make and modelling a growth mindset. So, you know, helping them to realise it doesn't matter if you make a mistake or you can't do something yet. Um, keep, you know, trying your best and working at something to achieve your goals and getting them to school every day and on time and reading with them on at home. So on to children's reading, here's a, a quote. Um, Young people who enjoy reading very much are nearly five times as likely to read above the expected level for their age compared with young people who do not enjoy reading at all. So we put this in just because at Devonshire Road we love reading and we like to instill a love of reading as well from an early age. So it's just you encouraging your child to look at books, sharing bedtime stories, having books in the house, visiting the library, looking at reading books, having that one-to-one -one time to enjoy stories together. Okay, so 
Uh, going on to reading at home. So as Miss Hickey said, we expect children to read at least three times a week. More is brilliant. Um, and if you can sign your child's diary and comment if you wish, I'll show you an example in a minute. And staff will aim to leave enough space for you to write in each day. And please don't feel like you need to read the whole book with your child every time you read. And you can also spend some time on the front and the back inside cover of our new books. Uh, magazines and stories at bedtime and things can also be read if they finish their school book and you can also add those in um, the reading diary. I've popped on their comprehension. So here are things that you can do when you're looking at a book with your child. So making predictions, can they guess what might happen next and why? Uh, talking about the different characters in the book. Uh, discussing the word choices or what the words mean. And every time you read at home with your child, they get a point and every time uh, we count up the points and they can achieve certificates and then their name will go on the newsletter as well and books will be changed regularly in class one to two times a week so here's just a quick example of a school diary so you see the teacher always writes in green so we'll sign here sometimes you might just write an encouraging comment other times it might be a certain area so there i've put practice the sounds um, and then you can use any color pen but if you just sign, um, you might write in if they've just worked on the sounds in the front of the book or perhaps if they've not read the whole book, you could just write which pages they've covered and sign it. Perhaps um, there's nothing in particular or even short on time, you can just still sign it. That's absolutely fine. And if you can see there the numbers, I've counted up how many times they've read and we'll record that down. And if you look at the front of the reading records, it gives you a list of the different certificates and how many points they need to achieve them. So we're really lucky in school this year. We've bought lots of new reading books. Um, and here's an example of one of our new books. And they're, they're really good because in the inside cover, there are the sounds you can practice. So you might choose one of the sessions that you're going to read with your child to just look at this page rather than starting the book. Perhaps you want to do this page first. Um, it's got the sounds or you could practice some of the words. Um, there's some questions you can talk about there. Really useful prompts for you and your child. And then after you've read as well, it, it gives you some information about where your child's up to. So on phase two, which signs they're covering, um, which of the common exception words they might come across and some ways to develop fluency, some ideas for you to work with your child um, and ways to practice the phonics. And I think these are really good as well. Um, ways you can extend the vocabulary, which is one of our focuses at school and comprehension just some questions really good questions you can ask different question types there as well so one of the reasons we possibly won't change the books if you've had a child in reception in recent years we're really keen on often changing the books at least two times a week but because there's more to do in these books they will definitely get changed at least once a week but it may, they may have the book for the week but there's plenty to be going at <coughs> Um, so tapestry is something that we use in EYFS. You might recognise it from if your child had it in nursery and also if you've had a child in reception be um, before. For those of you who haven't seen it before, it's an online learning, online learning journal and it's a way in which we record some of the child's learning and progress. So you can see what they've been up to throughout the day um, and you can also make comments on their learning and anything that they've been doing in school. You can also make your own posts about any learning at home and we love to see what they've been up to. Um, you should have received an email regarding setting up tapestry. Sometimes it does go to your junk mail so if you check in there as well um, and hopefully you'll be able to set up a password and then access your child's account. Um, it's really important that you do set up tapestry. Um, last year when we had to um, close school, it was really useful to be able to contact parents and we often posted home learning. And whilst we're not expecting school to close, it is just really useful to have it set up so that if, it, if we do close, it's really useful and we can get in contact with you and post the home learning. So if you have any questions about setting it up or you've got any difficulties, if you email the office um, and then we'll hopefully be able to sort it out for you and um, set up the password, etc. Um, the ways in which um, schools support you to help your child at home. So we put on here about speaking to us at home time and in the morning. If it's only a quick question, we can obviously speak to you in the morning or at home time. If it's something that you think might we, you might need to talk to us privately about or it might take a little bit longer, you can also arrange a phone call or an appointment. Um, tapestry, again, is fantastic, as mentioned. 
Um, it's really useful to see what your child's been up to and also the learning that they are completing in school. Okay, we put homework tasks on there. So these will be informal and they're optional at this stage. Um, and they will come later, but we quite often share them via tapestry as well. Just fun things you can be doing at home that will support their learning at school. I put stay and learn and parent curriculum workshops on there. And unfortunately, I put question mark at the moment because I know they're not going ahead this term. But hopefully you'll get the opportunity before the year is out to come to a stay and learn session where you join in with your child's learning in school or one of the parent curriculum workshops where we can go into a little bit more detail about one of the learning areas in EYFS. Um, and there's parents and carers evening and we will be sending home a help at home pack. OK, so thank you so much for listening to our meeting. If there's any questions or anything you're not sure, you want any um, clarification or anything, as Miss Hickey says, you can catch in the morning if it's something quick or if it's something um, that may take a little bit longer, you can email the office and we can give you a quick phone call back or you can make an appointment. We can go through some of the things if you're unsure or contact us via tapestry. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.